Hello everybody, I'm Jackie K. Cooper, and today's entertainment rundown is going to be something a little bit different. Not going to talk about specific movies or anything like that. Going to go in a different direction. And that's because of all the comments that I get and when you contact me, the things, the questions that you ask, one of the things that you ask over and over is, how can I do what you do? It seems that there are a lot of you out there who love movies, who would love to be able to review movies, uh, talk about movies, etc. And, you know, I've heard, I've heard your questions. And, you know, it's, it's strange because as I, as I began to talk about this, you will see that not a lot of planning went into what I did to get to where I am. So much of it was being in the right place at the right time. It was good luck, good fortune, God's blessings, whatever. But it wasn't planned out per se. That's not to say that I didn't take the initiative in a lot of instances. But I was blessed to have the good fortune to, to meet different people who enhanced my career, uh, who aided my career, who moved me on down the road. And, you know, looking back, you know, thinking over all these years that I've been alive, I realized that from a very, very early age, you know, that, you know, that three of the things that I really loved were writing, you know, I, I discovered early on I liked to, to, to tell stories, to write stories. I was, you know, I, I liked my English classes. Uh, reading, I loved to read from an early age. Uh, I, there was a, I lived in a college town growing up, and the college had a fantastic library. We had a librarian named Mrs. Emma Gray, who took an interest in me. She, you know, whenever I would, you know, check out one book and bring it back, she'd have several more that she wanted to recommend to me. Also, we had books in our in my home. My mother belonged to a book club, and we had books in the house. And my brother, who is three years older than I am. He taught me how you could read three books at one time. Now, whether you would want to read three books at one time, I don't know, but he would, you know, he would show me you read a chapter in one book, chapter in the second book, chapter in the third book, and you go back and read the next chapter, the next chapter, the next chapter. Why that appealed to me, I don't know, but I loved it. You know, I would just you know, get involved in three different adventures or whatever, and I would read three books at one time. Then, you know, when I got to high school, I wrote for the school newspaper, you know, feature articles, just things that interested me. And I did the same thing in college. I wrote for the school newspaper uh, in college. So I always had this desire to write and the desire to read. And then the third thing that I loved was movies. I loved movies from the very day I first could see a movie screen. And those three things have really played in together. I think being an avid reader increased my vocabulary. And if you're going to do this type of work, you need a vocabulary. Even today, uh, I'm, every day, you know, on, my, on the computer, it comes up and it says, Word of the Day. And it'll be a new word to learn every day. Some of the words I'm familiar with, some of the words I'm not familiar with. But... Even I, I liked, you know, I love to hear somebody talk who has a good vocabulary, who can use words without making it sound awkward, like da-da-da-da-da, uh, I'm going to use a big word now, da-da-da-da-da. No, it just flows, you know, and hopefully, you know, I, you can get into that pace, and hopefully I am somehow in that pace. But reading, writing, going to the movies, you know, those were... Those were the three things. I wasn't into sports. Uh, my father was an, an athlete, bless his heart, and I could have cared less. I just, I just never was into it. Uh, my sons, both of them, love sports. It just skipped that generation, jumped right over me, and left me with the reading and writing and movies. And that's okay. But I was, you know, back... After I went to law school and then I went into the military, uh, I was still, you know, had this desire to do something with 
writing and, and whatever I was still reading. I always read a couple of books a week. But I, I, you know, I had that within me, but the creative side of writing. And, and you know, after I, I went into, you know, like I said, to the military, after law school, spent four years in the Air Force. During that time, I got married, then moved to Rocky Mount, North Carolina. And I was telling my wife, you know, I still, you know, want to, to be able to do something creatively. I think I went to the newspaper in Rocky Mount, talked about, you know, writing some movie reviews or something like that. I don't think they were interested. Uh, they just, you know, thank you very much for coming in. But, so, then I went back working for, you know, in a civilian capacity. I, I went to work for the uh, Air Force, and I was, you know, working at Robbins Air Force Base, Georgia. And Robbins Air Force Base had a newspaper called the Robbins Rev Up. And the Robbins Rev Up gave, you know, came out, and everybody read it. It had base news on it, different things here and there. And so, you know, you kept up with things there, and one day I noticed that they had a listing for the base theater. There was, a, you know, a base theater. I don't know if the base still has the theater or not, but it had a base theater, and they got the movies probably a week or two weeks after they had opened in town. I don't know what the reason was for the delay, but anyway, I looked at the Robbins Rev up, and I saw the listing of the movies that were going to be opening in, at the base theater. And I thought, I've seen all those because I, I went to the movies all the time. My poor wife, you know, she, she didn't know when she married me that our life was going to be going to a lot of movies, but we did. But anyway, I looked down at the Robbins Rev Up and I said, I've seen all those movies. So that night, I went to my typewriter and I typed up a little paragraph about each of the movies and I sent it in to the Rev Up. And they ran it. Uh, you know, they had the listing of the movies and they had little comments by Jackie K. Cooper. And then, you know, they got in touch with me and they said, hey, you know, why don't we, you know, why don't we do this every week? You know, we'll, you know we'll, we usually post the movie, you know, line up on a Monday and then the movies don't open until Friday. And that gives us time to get your reviews in and get them done. And it was just for free, and it was just something that I enjoyed doing, and you know, it was fun. And this was back in the 70s. Mm, sounds like a long time ago now. But during that time, there was a gasoline shortage. I, you know, none of you, most of you won't remember that, but there was a gasoline shortage, and my wife is from St. Petersburg, Florida, and we wanted to go down, take our two boys, and visit them. Uh, and there were problems with getting gasoline. So we filled up the car and started out for St. Petersburg, Florida. You know, we're able to, you know, stop and, and get more gas along the way. But then when we got there, there was a real shortage of gasoline in St. Pete. Long lines, only limited to, to how much gasoline you could buy, all of that. And I was really worried because we stayed a few days and we were ready to get back. And you know, I had to get back to Georgia, and didn't have enough gas you know, to get up to where we thought we could get gas. Does that make sense? There was an area around St. Pete, for a few miles headed north, that the stations just didn't have gasoline. So, believe it or not, the word got out in the neighborhood that that we were getting ready to go back and people siphoned gas out of their cars and brought it over and filled up our car with gas. And I just thought that was the most generous, wonderful things that I'd, I'd ever heard of. And we made it safely back to Georgia and we were living in Perry, Georgia, where, where I live now I'm with my wife. And I sat down at the typewriter and I wrote up this story about the trip to Florida and about not having gas to get back and how, you know, people, you know, I, I think this was before the term play it forward came to be, 
but people played it forward. They, they took away from themselves to give to somebody else. I sent it into the House and Home Journal, which was the you know, local newspaper, and the guy published it, Bobby Branch. He was the manager, owner, editor of the Perry newspaper, and he printed it. I mean, you know, really nice presentation. And then a few days later, I got a call from him. And you know, he said, you know, Jackie, yeah, we, we ran your article, we really liked it. We would like for you to write a column for the newspaper. And I said, okay. And he, it was kind of a pause. And he said, okay, what kind of column do you want to write? And I said, what kind of column do you want? And he said, oh, anything. You know, we just like your writing and we'd like for you to write a column. And he said, what do you like to do? And what did I like to do? I like to go to the movies. And he said, then write a column about the movies. And that's where my regular writing started. Bobby Branch, you know, great mentor to me. And it ran once a week, I would write a column called That's Entertainment by Jackie K. Cooper and I covered you know what was the, the movies coming out and etc and I got paid a whopping five dollars a column yeah yeah five dollars and but that was the start you know I Bobby Branch saw something in that writing about that trip to Florida and the gasoline that made him want me to write a column for him. Now, I don't know what it was in there. He and I never got a chance to really sit down and, and discuss it that much, but it, it was a start. I did that, you know, every week, and it wasn't, wasn't a burden because I was going to the movies every week, and there it was. So the point of this is there are opportunities that come your way, and you have to grab onto them. And I'm going to show you that as we talk more, as I talk to you more about my career. But you, you've got to have the dream. You've got to have the initiative. You've got to take a chance. When I sent the stuff into the Robbins Rev Up, and, you know, in my mind, I thought they're gonna laugh so hard when they see this, but they didn't. They wanted to run it. And then when I sent the story into Bobby, it was not so much about wanting to convince him I was a good writer. It was that I wanted to bring notice to what those people did with that effort. But then when he offered me the chance, you know, I don't know, the $5, you know, what, this was back in the 70s, it wasn't a large amount then, but I was a paid writer, and that somehow meant something to me. But in the next few weeks, I'm gonna give you more videos. I'm gonna take this career path forward, so hopefully you can glean something out of my experiences that will help you go where you want to go. You know, that's, that's what I hope that we'll accomplish with this. And, you know, I'll bring in some, you know, side stories about things that occurred to me. But this will just be me talking to you, telling you the story of how I got to where I am today, how I get to do what I do. So for today, this has been Jackie K. Cooper's Entertainment Rundown with another portion of the story of my life.